just push, oh, with that a bit of lag there. Mm -hmm. Let's capture, let's take. Support the pawn and castle. King feels a little home alone. Let's x ray through to the queen. Ooh, let's just bring the bishop back. Develop the knight. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Let's just block with the knight. Let's attack the bishop. Make space for our bishop as well. Let's just bring the bishop back. Let's attack the bishop. Utilize this space maybe to hit their king. Let's get the bishop here. Okay, right, so he's attacking our bishop. Let's just uh, bring the rook anyway. We have an active king we're going to be if we capture, or if we take with the pawn, then we've got a bit of protection around our king. What do we think? I think we're going to go with the pawn. Let's bring the rook across, attacking the bishop. Make his mind up, is it going to attack it or not? Let's take. Let's take. This king's a bit airy, so he's going to probably need to make space to start running. And... Let's get the rook here. Shall we take? Let's take. Take. Okay, so this feels okay. And move the king up. Move the king up. Got a nice little cluster of pawns that can be quite powerful if used correctly. We're getting towards the end. Oh, let's hit the bishop. Coming for the pawn. Let's push. around the back. Maybe I mistimed that. He's dropping here to stop this pawn from dropping. Oh, it's not. Let's um, push the pawn. Let's push on. a bit redundant but it, now at least we don't have to can we come here to come here what do we think let's go there it's going to champion this bit uh, bring it here let's attack it from here we're trying to get here but it's not happening let's go here if there's any stuff going on so if we go here he drops his pawn down onto us put the check on the king first another check it's going to be hitting here and it's making his way down towards these pawns here ah I'm not going to be fast enough am I I'm not going to be fast enough Oh no, I've trapped my bishop. He's not seen it. 
<laughs> God, he could have just pushed down and got my bishop. Taking all the. Oh, you're joking. I fell for that, didn't I? It's a draw, then, isn't it? I will accept a draw, no problem. You're much higher rated than me. <laughs> Excellent. Damn, we're having a good session. That's for a rematch, I'm not too sure. Yeah, you're a little bit above my grade. That was an interesting game though. Let's have a look at the analysis. Like we do, let's have a look at the request analysis. Everybody jumps onto that, looking to see with, um, how they're performing, etc. This is a slow one. Absolutely fantastic. My gosh, I didn't even say the numbers here. I have zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes and one blunder. The opponent's got one inaccuracy and two blunders. And we're gonna keep the arrows on just to see. I mean, if I make perfect moves, I make perfect moves, but didn't feel like I made perfect moves. So I'm gonna keep the arrows on and look at what the computer suggested we should have done. Okay, um, we're playing white, aren't we? Yes, we're playing white, yeah, there we go. So, computer saying push the pawn here. I came with the knight. They pushed down, it says the bishop going here towards the knight, I've pushed in the centre like I always do, I know that's what I normally do, I like to push through the centre. Grabbing the pawn, that's nothing special, grabbing the knight, that's nothing special, and just bringing the bishop here, supporting the pawn, again that's pretty straightforward, we've done that in umpteen million games that we've played. The bishops come down and computer saying touch onto the knight, we definitely didn't do that, we castled. Okay, and again it's saying push on to the knight, we didn't do that, we brought our bishop out, x ray through to the queen, so we had our own rationales for these types of manoeuvres. Pawn pushes down, well that's pretty normal reaction to that type of thing, bringing the bishop back here. And we bring the knight across, now it's saying move the king across here, because obviously it's got this x ray through, but we didn't pay any attention to that did we, we brought our knight across. So there's nothing unusual about these movements. They've attacked our bishop, so well, we bring the bishop back. We're not going to leave it there for it to get taken. So they bring the bishop, it's attacking the queen, but we bring our knight across, blocking. Okay, and it's saying that's a big no-no. Yeah. Right, so when you're looking at the game, actually look at the game and look at the moves that have been made. Um, there's not many computer moves that I've made on here at all in any way shape or form but they're moves that we had a rationale for and um, to help us defend ourselves and help us move forward in the game. So the pawn pushes down onto well it's looking to trap our bishop so we push up but this is saying or it's saying it now but it was initially saying push the pawn here to the knight and now it's realized that this is a better move. So basically moving the bishop back again, that's pretty self-explanatory and doesn't like that move. I think that's the blunder move, isn't it? Yeah. I like that move because it has the potential for opening up the... I don't even need to explain myself, I explained it in the game. Uh, so we captured, captured and it's saying move the knight out of the way. We did not do that and they captured. So now we're looking to make some sort of space towards their king area as we explained. So when you're looking at games like this and maybe some of the games have got like a high performing type thing, you really have to look into the game and look at the details of the game. And that's all, that's all I've got to say really. Even I have to as well, you know, if I've played a game and the, the person's played out on their socks, I have to look at that game in detail. And if there is a question, then I will, I will question it. You know, but I have to look at what I have done first, you know. 
So the night comes down, so we bring the rook across, looking to, again, like we said, access up towards here, but I don't need to explain that because we explained it during the game. So the knight comes down, we capture with the pawn, that's all pretty straightforward stuff. And we come up to attack the bishop, that makes sense to me. So they go for the trade, and we capture, and they capture, and they capture. So that is very straightforward stuff. As you can see, it's only plus 0.3 at this moment in time. There's nothing majorly happening in this um, game. So we're both playing quite half decent good chess for um, what we're playing. So I'm quite impressed that the opponent didn't blow me out of the water with some fantastic magical moves themselves. So I'm really happy with this game. So the king comes down, it knows it's going to get some sort of squish somewhere. And I was thinking of bringing the rook here, but then I'm thinking, well, he's just going to dance around here. So I'm just wasting my rook movement. So I'd rather just bring this rook here. And if they go for this, then we can just exchange them off, which they did do. I mean, like this is saying, bring this here for a check on the king. Again, I didn't feel the strength to that at all. It's like going against my mantra, which is rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. I'd be bringing it here for the king to do what? I just need to break this down because yeah so he runs there so what do you do then chase him around and then he goes there but what does that mean to me um so it's just going backwards and forwards so ends up being a draw anyway so let's get back to where we were so we captured 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 and just started elevating the king up it's only plus 0.1 so there's nothing great there all I know is that in these types of situations, it's best to get the king higher up the board that maybe you can try and get some of the pawns off the board and make it a bit of an aggressive king. So I move the king up, bishop comes down, attacks. Obviously, we're going to block that off. That makes sense. Oh, they said a pawn push here. Interesting. I don't think I'd be interested in them apples though. But some... Maybe that might have been a better one. I'm not too sure. I didn't feel too confident about that. I was really quite more worried about the bishop coming down and getting these pawns really as well. Felt like I'm um, getting this up as well just to make sure. But that's got a big arrow on. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so the bishop's coming down for this anyway. It's saying ignore this bishop altogether. So we take, but then he takes. Then we push. He attacks, then we push. Hmm, that's detail. All right. Okay, I don't know if I would have done that though. Even now, still, I don't think that would be embedded in me. Boom, boom, boom. I have to retrain my brain. I'm all yeah. Anyway, so we push the pawn up. We're just thinking if we can put some pressure onto this pawn at least as well. We're getting further up the board always aware that this bishop was looking to come and attack this pawn so I kept pushing this pawn up just to make sure if anything um, if the king did move and we could come here take this pawn off then this is highly um, developed at the board so that was my rationale for that so now we're looking to attack the pawn and just even out a little bit on this uh, side here and then pushing so it does look drawish doesn't it um, had a plan coming here looking to try and get this pawn off at least then and then we did we had lost this here oh look it's not even gone it's showing the plus that's interesting because i thought it could have just gone here like this showing it as a draw that's um weird so all in all yeah pretty interesting game